The purpose of this video is to preview all 14 of the flight training tutorial that I have created to teach you how to fly these or any other aircraft and to become really awesome at playing this game. Now, whether you are a novice player or a seasoned pilot, there's something in these videos for you. And the best place to start any training program is at Lesson 1. The game interface screens, engine starting, taxiing, and takeoff. Houston, we have liftoff. As we climb out, we try to hold the nose at the same angle just above the horizon. This will keep our speed constant in the climb. Adding power adds lift, which means you go up. Decreasing power reduces lift, which means you go down. So with this theory, you can see that a slightly steeper angle of bank means you have to hold the nose up slightly higher. We looked at uh, aerodromes and aerodrome procedures. We looked at the approach and the landing. And the most important thing was the speed control. And in lesson four, we learn more about the performance and limitations of our aircraft. Then as we roll into a sustained turn, we raise the nose slightly, speed comes back. To maintain that altitude and airspeed, we need to increase the power. As we tighten up the turn, increase the angle of bank, we have to keep doing that until we've got full power on. And of course, there's this at the other end of the scale. Lesson 5 explores slow flight and how it leads to stalls and spins. Here I haul back and kick the rudder to the right. That induces a stall, and a secondary stall leads to the incipient spin, which leads to the full spin. The emphasis here is not to get good at recovering from these things, but just not entering them in the first place. In Lesson 6, we do basic aerobatic maneuvers to build on the skills that you have so far. As we enter the maneuver, we're going to hold the nose up very slightly just above the horizon and hold it all the way until we've rolled inverted. With the wings level and a steady back pressure on the stick, we'll create a nice arc through the air to the bottom of the loop. In Lesson 7, we're going to look at uh, turns in more detail and some basic aerobatic maneuvers such as the Immelman and inverted flight. In Lesson 8, we look at the effects of wind, because wind affects taxiing, landing, takeoff, navigation, and bombing. You can clearly see here that if we're trying to go parallel to the road, the wind from the right is pushing us to the left. To maintain our desired track across the ground, in other words, along the road, we have to crab into the wind. Lesson 9 is going to be the most challenging of all the lessons you've seen so far. Today, we'll look at crabbing and the side slips, wheel landings and crosswind landings, and a few other things. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for in Lesson 10, Air gunnery practice. We're going to slow our speed down so we have more time on target. Watch this. And with a gentle application of rudder, I can rake the target from right to left. 
Lesson 11 is the mystical art of map reading and navigation. We need to be able to identify the ground and terrain objects and pinpoint them on a map, such as forests and rivers or the front line. And this is probably your best directional reference. We talked earlier about triangulating your position, which we will demonstrate as we navigate to and attack a real target. The target is directly west of the field, so what terrain features can we expect to see? There's a river down here to the left, and the town of Arras behind us to the left. The most important feature for us is crossing the railroad. And this is the point when we put all our skills together. The only thing we lack is experience. Lesson 13 has us attacking a two-seater, an extremely hazardous maneuver. And with his rotating swivel and ratchet system, he was able to cover a considerable amount of the sky. 180 degrees horizontally and 240 degrees above and below the aircraft. As with attacking the ground targets, there's no rush to hit this target. Only want to hit it when the conditions are right. And those conditions are when you can approach it from below and have the advantage. Lesson 14 covers how to get into the multiplayer servers and have the most rewarding experiences. You'll need to be familiar with a few performance factors. The third is the turn rating, which means how fast the aircraft can travel 360 degrees. And lastly, the roll rate. How fast can the aircraft change direction? So while the SE5 is 50 kilometers an hour faster than me on the flat, I can literally turn circles around him. He's done, pilot error. Watch the turn rate on my fouls as I look for my other opponent. And there he is, in a low energy state. And as I expected, I outturn him, and I'm going to be able to get a good shot on him here. I encourage you to watch all these videos all the way through, and of course to support my channel if you can share, like, and subscribe. That is terrific. So until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.